Good afternoon, Coach. Good to see you. Good afternoon. Welcome to HSBN Media Days. Coach, introduce yourself and the players that you have here, and then give us an overview of your program for this upcoming season. Absolutely. My name is Julio Mendoza. This is my second year at Miami Sunset. This is Nicholas Rodriguez. Fun fact, he's actually a poet as well, not just a baseball player. This is Daniel Peru, who's picking up uh, poetry as well. This is Danny Reyes, also known as Danny Banana. This is Jonathan Diamond. And this is him, uh, Ranger Roca. Nicholas Roca, we call him Ranger. Uh, we have an exciting group this year. Uh, a lot like last year, but a lot of our guys this year, they own their own baseball equipment. So it's going to be a, a great year, I think. Goal, five or six wins, but ultimately we're going to continue just like last year, where we're going to be a process-oriented program, a team that focuses on the things that they can control. And tell us what year the, all these players are too. So Nick here is a senior, Danny's a senior, Danny's a senior, Jonathan here is a junior, and Rangers a freshman. And bringing a freshman to this table is not, not, not a every time so tell us why he's he's earned it he's him that guy right there yeah. he's uh he's earned it uh freshman came in in the fall and and kept up kept up with all these these big monsters you see next to me right here so he he earned it and uh, i thought it would be a good idea to have a you know this being my second year in the program of course i plan on being at sunset for a long time and building something very special i i definitely wanted to have a young guy that's going to be there with me for four years uh in front of you guys for 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 four of them you know Coach, you know, you said it's a process, you know, you want to five, five, six wins, that's the goal this year. Um, last year you finished one and 14? One and 14. So, uh, you know, do we, do we see the program moving along the way that you thought it would when you joined a year ago? I, y yes, and, uh, and I think other people are starting to see that as well. Again, the program has won three games in the last three years, so, you know, we want to win four this year. Four or five would be would be phenomenal. It would be more than the last three years. I think that would be a big step in the right direction. Uh, you know, I might be a little biased, but I do think we're getting there. I mean, it, it was tough this year. You know, kind of gauge when you talk to other coaches, when, when you're building a schedule, when you're trying to schedule games, you start getting a better idea of what other coaches think you have. Uh, and, you know, we had coaches last year that wanted to play us two or three times. And this year they scheduled us, and they found out that our guys have their own baseball bats and baseball gloves, and, you know, they kind of dropped on us, so it was a bit of a challenge. But you start to see, you know, what other other people from the outside in uh, looking in are, are kind of their perception of our program is. We had a lot of tough teams want to play us, and that's exciting. So I think overall we put together a decent schedule that reflects a, a an, an okay team. You know, again, taking realistic steps here. One in fourteen last year. You know, we're not a, uh, you know, we're not shooting for the stars necessarily. We're being realistic, and I think four or five wins is is somewhere in that range. All right. You brought in a few new players this year, correct? I didn't bring in anyone, but yeah, we have a couple new faces, a couple guys that live, some of them across the street from Miami Sunset Senior High, and, and they were going to other schools, and we've kind of turned things around, I think, uh, at Sunset, and you know, we, we brought some of our kids home. Uh, any transfers here? Yes, actually. Yeah, tell me just a little bit, what, you know, what, what made you come to the program, what made you seek them out? Well, I've always thought that, well, I went to middle school with a lot of the people that went to, sun, to Sunset, so I'm enjoying my life, my school, um, with all my friends from middle school, and I love the baseball program. Uh, we do a lot of things, not just physically on the baseball field, but in study hall in the classroom where we learn about the mental side of baseball, and we just have great teammates all around. And that's about it. How about for one of the returners? What's it like to have kind of an influx of new talent, guys that want to play with you and be on your team? You know, uh, it's very different compared to last year. How like the focus on some people can like change, and like how you notice because we like to control the things that we can control. So last year it was harder to like really focus on the process that we want to follow. This year, like everyone bought in a lot faster. How's the chemistry of the team? You guys, you know, meshing, getting along? I mean, it seems like you guys know each other pretty well. Yeah, I think our team chemistry is really good. Over the fall, I feel like we all came along and we're like brothers now. Yeah, I know, a lot of teams, you know, they say the chemistry's there. This team, it, it's a lot of fun to coach this team and to show up to practice every single day. It's a group of fun guys, um, but they get after when they need to. So it, it's a good group. Players, you know, I mean, it's, it's fun, but it's also serious. You know, Coach has, has a plan. He wants to improve the program. So how do you guys balance the having fun on the field and enjoying yourself, but also taking things super seriously? 
Well, it's always a fun time in these practices, but we always uh, take it seriously when we need it to. And sorry, I'm just, uh, yeah. I, I think our captains do a good job of, of setting the tone where our, our guys are loose, having a good time, but when we practice, we practice. You know, we, we've we've done a good job as coaches, but more importantly as leaders, these guys right here, of, of implementing the culture. You know, we get after it. You know, we have a good time. That's what it's all about, you know? But when, when it's time to work, they work. Is there a game on the schedule this year that you guys are looking specifically forward to? Um, not really, like, I'm not, my mind's not really on the game, but there is a game I'm looking at and it's killing. I am a kid that came from killing, so. That is the game I'm looking forward to playing. I know. I'm just looking forward to the season in general. Same for me. I'm looking forward to the season. I'm not really looking forward to just playing one team, but I think we have a shot at all of our games. Because you're in a new district now, so you're going to be looking at. So yeah, that. so we're we're in the we're in the same district. However, they added uh, South Miami to our district, and it's a tough district filled with good coaches. We don't catch a break. A good coach leaves, a good coach takes over the same program. So it's like our luck, am I right? But uh, but it's it's gonna be it's gonna be competitive again. We're we're the team that was one in fourteen last year. That's the hat that we wear right now. Uh, I think we're gonna take a big step in the right direction this year and just continue to build from there. It's a tough district. Key West is front runner. That's a team that in my opinion any year could could win the last game of the season. And you know, it, it's competitive after that as well. St. Brendan's good, Killian's good, uh, South Miami's in the process with the new coach, a new field, so you never know what you're gonna get there. But uh it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Being able to compete this year is gonna be a lot of fun. What are some of the Well, we had a lot of challenges last year, so <laughs> the fact that we can minimize that is just, it's a, it's a good thing. I'd say expectations, you know, but that, that's kind of what you want, you know, with, with, with expectation comes a little bit of pressure and, and people are, are looking at us like a team that might win four or five this year. So it's just, just the expectations, you know, you, it, we're all human, so we all feel a little bit of pressure. When you have the expectations, last year there was no pressure at all. Uh, you know, this year there's a little bit because, you know, there's a couple teams on our schedule that maybe we're supposed to beat them now. So uh, that's all. I would say that just uh, the expectations is, is the difference. And you come out and you participate with HSB on media days. Why is it important for you to take the team to participate? This, no one does this. And this is awesome. Like I told you guys last year, we're so grateful for, for this platform that you guys provide. Uh, just for them to get here, be here and experience this is really cool. No one does this. This is great. The exposure for the players, more importantly, the experience. This is awesome. We're not going to, they're not going to play high school baseball forever. And realistically, no one is going to play baseball forever. So just for them to be able to be part of something bigger than themselves and, and get together as a team and come out to these events is awesome. You know, getting to read the articles and, and all that stuff, all that coverage, it's, it's cool. It really is cool. I, I, I enjoy it. I imagine they enjoy it even more as kids. So just a little shout out to Rick, who's not here today, but he was the first one that interviewed when I was at Jackson and he's a super cool guy and as well, just everything that they've built here. It's awesome to see what this has become, you know. And for the players, do you have any highlights today? Did you do um, IO? Did you do yeah, the 60 yard dash was good. Yeah. What'd you run? Ran a 6'6". Six, six. So freshman running a 6'6". Six, six. That's the kid right the there. Passes? Uh, uh, I'm up there <laughs> with this guy. Yeah, I ran a six five today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and for you guys though, you like participating in this in, in this and doing your pro, your profiles and getting to yes. see it yeah. Yes, it is. It's awesome. Honestly my favorite part about HSBN is the articles after the games because you know you get to see everybody, your teammates. Well, article. It's we're awesome. hoping to get a couple this yeah. year, or maybe in the fifth win. Yeah. <laughs> article, <laughs> fifth fifth win for the Knights. <laughs> We're looking forward to seeing you on the field, awesome. and we uh, thanks again for coming out. We wish you the best of luck this season, and uh, we will see you on the field. Can I say one last thing? Thank you for having us. This guy right here, Julio oh, wow. Mendoza, <laughs> calling it right now. First, he's the next player. I mean, 
Sorry, coach of the year. Oh, wow. Uh, if we right win, here. I think we need this more than five guy. wins for something <laughs> like that. Right here. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna to try. We're going to work our, our tails off. We're going to do our best. So. All right. Well, the best of luck again. And right. we'll see you on the field. Thank you so much for coming Thank you for having Thank us. You.